I could wear this turkey hat. This is the best I can do. Why wasn't I just a born TikTok dancer? Below average, as always. I've got me GC style glasses. You're going to need one onion. <laughs> we have outfit numero three. I'm so obsessed with this dress. This has 2.1 million views. Random, but okay. This is not as easy as Beth made it look. Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> What am I getting myself into? Hello everyone, I hope you're all good. I hope you're staying more sane than I am during lockdown. As you can see by the title of this video, I am gonna be recreating my followers TikToks. I asked you guys over on Instagram to DM me links to your favorite TikToks that you have made. And honestly, it had the most responses I have ever had to a story. It took me hours to search through them. And I don't think I've even got around to looking at all of them. There were thousands but you know what that is what i love about tiktok is that it doesn't matter if you make videos or not whether you've got followers or not anyone can upload on tiktok anyone can get views it's all about being creative and having a bit of fun and a lot of you guys are very creative some of you have sent in like singing videos fab love that for you love that you've got a good voice i can't recreate that sunshine i have not got the talent there were also a lot of tiktoks you sent in with your pets again sadly cannot recreate but the ones that i can recreate are like the funny ones the dance ones i've actually already started i'm gonna throw it back to yesterday when i began this challenge and let's get started with the first tiktok if one of your tiktoks is included in this video or if you enjoy this video in general please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite tiktok trend so far okay so the first tiktok that i'm gonna recreate obviously i look like i've been dug up from six feet under right now because the first tiktok is actually a makeup one so this one was sent to me by the lovely beth and and I've actually never seen this done on TikTok before. I don't know if I've been living under a rock, but I feel like this is super creative. So this is the TikTok I'm on about. And I'm feeling good. Go on, Bear. I literally love it. I think it's so clever. So that's what I'm going to do first of all. Not sure mine's going to turn out exactly like Beth's, but I'm going to try not to move my phone between the two shots. That's always the bit I struggle with. The transition is never smooth because I always want to check my phone. First thing I'm doing is trying to figure out how much powder Beth put in the lid because it looks quite smoky on hers. I don't know if that's an effect or if it's the actual powder. I can't work it out, but I've even got the same powder lid as Beth. Step one, got this nailed. I blew the powder too early. This is not as easy as Beth made it look. No, excuse me Beth, how did you get this so smooth? Oh my God, my phone is covered in powder. My bed is covered in powder. Hopefully that was the one. No, I was too late. I've been doing this for 10 minutes. Makeup complete, finally. Well, actually, it only took me 24 minutes to do this full face. Look at the size of these lashes, though. Right, I'm now going to do the second part. Haven't moved my phone. Very proud of myself. I've used about half this Laura Mercier powder just for this TikTok. I swear to God, everyone else finds TikTok so easy, and I literally have to do so many takes every single time. Like, it just does not come naturally to me. <sighs> Good golly, Miss Beth. <laughs> that took me... Far too long. But anyway, this is my version of Beth's TikTok. And I'm feeling good. It's not as good as Beth's, but it's gonna do. Beth's the kind of fab half of the duo. I'm the kind of average. Next up, we have Kirsty. This one made me laugh because this one is so me. It's a joke. It's like Kirsty's made this about me. Hit it, Kirsty. <laughs> Take it away. No, 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 not karaoke. No, I can't do. I actually have like a rule against not doing karaoke. Like I don't sing ever. Like not even in front of you. Tumble out of bed and I stumble in the kitchen. Throw myself a cup of ambition, yawn and stretch. Love a bit of 9 to 5, love a bit of Dolly P. Let's do it. Throw myself a cup of ambition. P.S. Look at the mess from the powder. Beth, what have you done to me? <laughs> I'm allergic to TikTok talent. Here's my TikTok setup. Imagine if I actually had an Irish accent. I feel like I would be an entirely different person. I can't imagine me being from anywhere else 
other than Essex. It's part of who I am. I just want to be me. I've got an idea. I wonder if I still have a feather boa. Does anyone else have that very random section in their bedroom? Mine is at the bottom of this wardrobe. I've just found fairy wings. I could wear this turkey hat. <laughs> Not really a Dolly Parton via pan. I always get carried away. God, I've had these since I was literally about three years old. If they still fit, I'm going to be amazed. Business in the front. Party in the back. <laughs> you can't really see them though, so I'm gonna have to abandon them for now. Sorry, wings. This is the best I can do. I honestly live in the most random household. I will say to my mum, we got a feather boa. Normal response, no. Why would we have a feather boa? Her response, no, but I have got a bag full of 30 garlands. <laughs> I filmed the first part of the TikTok. Second part, here we go. Trouble out of bed and stumble in the kitchen, throw myself a cup of ambition and yawn and stretch. Yes, done it. Okay, final result. Here she is. No, 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 not karaoke. No, I can't do it. I actually have like a rule against not doing karaoke. Like, I don't sing ever, like, not even in front of you. Tumble out of bed and I stumble in the kitchen, throw myself a cup of ambition, yawn and stretch. Who's ready? It's time for the next TikTok. It is now the next day. Obviously, I look very different. I'm really excited for this one, I'm not going to lie, because this one features one of my favourite programmes and one of my favourite foods. So, I mean, it's a great time all round. This is another one that I haven't actually seen on TikTok until now. So, this one's from Lauren and... <laughs> Seems like Lauren loves this country as much as I do. If you've never watched this country, it's on BBC iPlayer. It is hilarious. I would highly recommend it. But this is the next one that I'm about to recreate. Mum! What? There's no holes in my crumpets. There's no what? There's no holes in my crumpets. We'll turn it over. Oh, yeah, there they are. <laughs> So last night when my mum went to do the food shop, I asked her to pick up some crumpets. She's a bit like, random, but okay. Little does she know, these crumpets are going to create a masterpiece. Mum! What? There's no holes in my crumpets! There's no what? There's no holes in my crumpets! We'll turn it over! Oh yeah, there they are. Did you find your crumpet holes? Yeah, I did, yeah! Hi! got a Jaffa, this kind of Jaffa, the best Jaffa. <laughs> so it's now Wednesday and I've actually been working all day today so I haven't done any TikToks today and I need to because I've got a lot to get through. I think the next one I'm going to do is a dance one. I'm excited but I feel like it's going to take me a long time. This dance is not easy. This one is from Charlotte and this is the dance that I'm about to learn. <laughs> Charlotte absolutely smashed that. Mine's not going to be as good. I know it. But I'm going to try my very best. I'm going to use the same effects as Charlotte. I'm going to try and make it look the same. Oh my god, Charlotte. I have watched this so many times. I would definitely say this is the hardest one I've learned yet. It's so fast. I've also got the fan on because I am boiling. <laughs> I just can't get it right. It's the first bit. It's so quick. Why wasn't I just a born TikTok dancer? <laughs> I am beyond exhausted. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to do this TikTok at the end of a busy working day. Here we go, here's the final result. It's not even that good. Never mind, see you tomorrow. <laughs> All the best. Hear ye, hear ye. My face cannot move right now because this face mask has dried. The last TikTok I posted was the Ariana Grande greedy dance. And I would like to announce that due to that TikTok, I assume I have just received a follow from Diane, professional Strictly Come dancer, also Joe Sugg's girlfriend and an absolutely adorable human being. She just followed me on TikTok, so you know. If the Strictly pros approve of my Ariana Grande dancing, I think it's official. I am a TikTok dancer. Anyway, I am just about to post the next TikTok. I'm on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Spoke too soon. I actually put this face mask on and then realised that I needed to do a TikTok. So I've just filmed it with it on. Who even cares on TikTok? This one was sent in by a lovely girl called Neha. And it's a Gavin and Stacey special. Of course it is. 
I can tell. So this is the next TikTok that I have recreated. Well, we're getting an Indian. What do you fancy? Chicken boner, lamb boner, prawn boner, mushroom rice, bag of chips, keema and nine poppadoms. It's a classic Smithy line, it clearly is. So after a few takes, not gonna lie, did have to make a note of the order on my laptop while I was filming this because I could not remember for the life of me whether mushroom rice or bag of chips came first. I've filmed it and here is the final result. Well, we're getting an Indian. What do you fancy? Chicken boner, lamb boner, prawn boner, mushroom rice, bag of chips, keema and nine poppadoms. So today's Friday, which means it is potentially the last day of doing this challenge. I might carry it on tomorrow if I need to, but I need to smash the TikToks out today. It is all I've got planned for the day. Basically, I made a note of all the TikToks I wanted to create in my phone before I started this challenge when you guys sent in the links to me. And I still have quite a lot left. <laughs> if I don't get them all done today, I will do them tomorrow. I have never posted on TikTok so much in my life and it seems to be working because I've gained 350 followers in the past few days and that is good for me. My TikTok grows very slowly. So this morning, as I was about to start my makeup, I realised that there was actually a makeup TikTok I had left to do. So this one was sent in by Daisy and this one actually went viral. This has 2.1 million views. Go on Daisy and it's the first one she ever posted. Absolutely smashing TikTok. So this is the one that I wanted to recreate. Here it is. Oh, you wear too much makeup. Oh, you probably don't even love yourself. Oh, you probably insecure about your face. Man, shut up. Shut up. Do you understand the talent and skill it takes to put on makeup? These girls are fucking artists. Do you understand how hard it is to make that eyeliner wing? And not one- First of all, Daisy, you are stunning. Second of all, I just filmed this and mine turned out way longer. <laughs> And daisies. I was trying to keep it to the same amount of time, but honestly, I don't know how she did it. Mine is also not that great. I feel like it looks really bad quality, but I don't know why. Obviously, this is the makeup that I've just done, and this is how the video turned out. Oh, you wear too much makeup. Oh, you probably don't even love yourself. Oh, you probably insecure about your face. Man, shut up! Shut up! Do you understand the talent and skill it takes to put on makeup? These girls are fucking artists. Do you understand how hard it is to make that eyeliner wing? And not once, but twice? They also ain't putting on makeup for you. They're putting on for themselves. Do you understand how many steps there are to putting on makeup? No, you don't. Eyebrow, eyeliner, eyelash, eyeshadow, contour, concealer, blush, and making sure that the highlight is on point. Have you seen a girl glow in the sun? Bro, it's fucking gorgeous. Mwah! It's fucking gorgeous. So the next time you see a girl wearing makeup, don't be like, oh, you wear too much makeup. Be like, oh, hey girl. It's just my everyday makeup, to be honest with you. I feel like a lot of people that use this sound would do really creative looks, but not me. Below average, as always. Anyway, on to the next TikTok. Ignore my leg here, I'm not moving it. I'm gonna put my own little spin on this next TikTok. This one was sent in by Maisie, but you'll see why I need to put my own spin on it. So, here's the video. Cause these hills have eyes and I got paranoia I hurt myself sometimes, is that too scary for you? Now, obviously, Maisie is a student, she's getting a degree, she's at university, she's achieved a lot in her life. I'm the opposite, didn't go to uni, so can't really relate. So instead, I'm going to change the word in a little bit, but do the rest of it the same. Scary for you. Okay, some very intense editing later. Here's the final result. <laughs> Action! But I cannot hide in hills of California Because these hills have eyes and I got paranoia too scary for Ta-da! Masterpiece. So I've just had lunch and the next TikTok that I'm gonna learn is actually a sign language video. Now, a little fun fact about me that I don't think I've told anyone really is I actually used to go to sign language club at school. I think it's such a good skill to have although it was very basic sign language that I learned and to be honest I haven't done it for years so I can't really remember any of it but hopefully one day I'll pick it back up and this was sent in by Alice and she's actually signed to a bit of the greatest showman so I'm gonna watch Alice's and try and copy her and learn it although I'm not sure if I have to use specific hands like if I have to use my right hand or my left hand it might not be the perfect sign language but no one expects anything perfect from Fab Han, <laughs> let's be honest. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door. So that's what I'm gonna learn. It's not too long, so I feel like I will hopefully get this fairly quickly. She says famous last words. Right, here we go, Alice. <laughs> 
I think I've got it. I'm not 100% sure. The most difficult thing was trying to figure out whether like I had to use three fingers or two fingers. Like what if that means something else? And then two of them are very similar like C and cool so i'm trying my best <laughs> anyway i was a little bit nervous to post this because i don't know how much of it i got right um but i guess you guys will probably tell me in the comments if it's wrong so this is the final result i close my eyes and i can see a world that's waiting up for me that i call my own through the dark through the door through an I tried my best. Also, my fake tan looks horrendous on my hands in this TikTok because I had my ring light, which is here, but it was only on my face. My face looks so much lighter and my hands look particularly dark. The one TikTok where my hands were actually quite important and they look horrendous. Well, I'm glad you weren't in focus for that. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my TikTok tutorial. So for this next one, you're going to need one onion. Fun fact about me, I used to be able to juggle when I was younger. Look at me, sign language, juggling, man of many talents. <laughs> so this one was sent in by Freya and it is the boy or the onion. Sometimes when you're crying, you've got to ask yourself, am I dating a boy or an onion? Stop making me cry. It's over, Jeff. So more love the story. My life is a mess. Let's get cracker lacking. This is going to be a quick one because it's cut up into sections, so I haven't really got to learn the words. And that, my friends, was the quickest one yet, I think. But let me present to you boy or onion. Sometimes when you're crying, you've got to ask yourself, am I dating a boy or an onion? Stop making me cry. It's over, Jeff. So more love the story. My life is a mess. Ta-da! I think that's going to be my last one for today because I've posted so many TikToks in one day. I posted a couple of extras as well today. I was on a roll. Posted five TikToks in one day. <laughs> People are going to be like, God, Han is bored today. So it's now Saturday and I have three more that I want to do on my list. I thought, Han, this video would not be complete without a Gemma Collins TikTok. So the next one, I've got me GC style glasses. I might put me hair in a towel as well for extra effect. This one was sent in by Phoebe and she's actually actually got a glass of gin in this TikTok but the time is currently about 10 a.m. so instead I've just got an orange squash and that's gonna have to do I might actually film this one in the garden because I haven't done one in the garden yet the Gemma Collins one that I'm gonna recreate is this one and this is what I'm doing I'm not getting involved I'm here to enjoy myself GC style do you know what I mean I just want to be me I just want to be me oh my god I'm so rubbish at putting towels on my head how do people do it I don't get it okay I'm back Gemma Collins TikTok has been created I changed the caption on it a little bit so Phoebe had written thoughts on lockdown and I've written when the rest of the world is stressing about coronavirus <laughs> so the same vibe and this is what I'm doing Okay. I'm not getting involved. I'm here to enjoy myself, GC style. Do you know what I mean? I just want to be me. One thing I've just realised why have I got the towel on my head and I'm sat outside? Oh well, too late now, it's posted. <laughs> okay, so the next TikTok is one that was sent in by Lottie. And this is actually the first outfit fashion-based TikTok that I'm going to do for the week. I absolutely love this one. It's an outfit inspo post. And basically, it's outfits that Lottie wishes she was wearing instead of just being in lockdown. And all her outfits were so nice. You need me to get that together so we could get together they're so nice so i'm about to go through my wardrobes and try and pick out some outfits that i wish i was wearing during lockdown although to be honest i'm loving living in loungewear 24 7 but my wardrobe in my office is like my more glam wardrobe first dress that i wish i was wearing is this one because i bought this before lockdown and i haven't had a chance to wear it at all yet so she's definitely a contender right here we go i think i've got my five outfits i'm pretty sure lottie was wearing five in hers so i'll talk you through them and where they're from as i'm filming this i've just cleared my dressing table as well because i'm going to film it in that mirror let's do this oh i actually do kind of wish i was going out and wearing these cute outfits now sad times so the first outfit is this one this top I actually really like this. It's super comfy. This was from Primark. I got it quite a while ago now. Then these trousers slash jeans, whatever they are, they're like that faux leather kind of plasticky material. 
These are from Misguided. And I've actually got a belt on with them, but they don't have belt loops. My mum did put a belt loop either side of them because she is genius. But this belt is from Pretty Little Thing. And I can't remember where these glasses were from. Probably, I'm going to say Pretty Little Thing. Next outfit is this cute little cold from Pretty Little Thing. I do love this, although it is a little bit risky because obviously you can't wear a bra with it. So you can't wear this on a cold day, if you know what I'm saying. And also this hair clip that I've got in is from Claire's Accessories. Next up, we have outfit numero three. This dress is from Motel Rocks and these glasses are from Pretty Little Thing, Misguided or Primark. Any of the above. Then we have the Barbie princess dress of dreams. I'm so obsessed with this dress. I love the balloon sleeves. I love this little frill layer on top. Then it's like bodycon underneath. It zips up at the back. I just love it. I need an occasion to wear this, but I don't know when that occasion would be. I feel like the only time this would be appropriate is at like my own birthday party. This is from I Saw It First. So let's do this. Very different vibe to the last one, but I'm okay with that. Welcome to Fab Han and her two different personalities. <laughs> and then the final outfit outfit hallelujah because i'm absolutely boiling <laughs> this bodysuit is from misguided it's one of my favorites it's so easy to wear it looks like you made such an effort when i really haven't again they're the same trousers that i had on earlier from misguided this belt is pretty little thing i love the little pearl detail and this headband is actually from a small business on instagram i'll link them in the description down below if i can find them but it's a handmade headband it's super comfortable I love it. Fifth and final outfit. This one's been fun. It's a lot of effort though because it is a really hot day today and getting changed into these plastic jeans. <laughs> Not really a fun time. You need me to get that together so we can get together. I'll tidy that up later. Okay, the last one. I've been putting this one off, I'm not going to lie, because I know it's going to take me such a long time. I'm so bad at remembering lines. I've got to be in GCSE drama, but it seems my dramatic skills have vanished. So the last TikTok of the week was actually sent to me by my friend Yasmin. So it's from a Hannah Montana scene, and this is the one that I'm about to attempt. Attempt being the key word here. You tell Mr. Spielberg I said thanks, but no thanks. Oversized sweatshirt by and daddy who just said three-time Academy Award-winning director, producer of Jaws, Jurassic Park, E.T., Men in Black 1 and 2, Once Men to Sarnas, Nick Big Blockbuster, opposite of Mission Impossible, Honky Honk, Tom Cruise, say what? How on earth did she remember that? I'm going to have to get my laptop and write it down in the notes because, God, I can't even understand what she's saying. <laughs> I know. I really miss Hannah Montana. I might watch some of it on Disney+. Plus. I think I did it. Can you tell Mr. Spielberg I said thanks, but no thanks? Oversized sweatshirt by and daddy who just said three-time Academy Award-winning director, producer of Jaws, Jurassic Park, E.T., Men in Black 1 and 2, Once Men to Sarnas, Nick Big Blockbuster, opposite of Mission Impossible, Honky Honk, Tom Cruise, say what? And Yasmin sent that to me thinking that I wouldn't be able to do it. What's my next challenge? <laughs> and just like that, we're at the end of the week and my TikTok suddenly becomes a lot more quiet from this point onwards. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I am going to try and keep posting regularly on TikTok because I really enjoy it. It's so much fun. So if you're not following me already, be sure to go and follow me over on TikTok. My username is FabHan with an extra N because FabHan was taken, obviously. You can go and watch all the TikToks I created in this video. Actually, I want you to head over to your favourite TikTok of mine from this video and comment on it saying this was my fave but anyway guys thank you so much if you sent in one of your tiktoks to me maybe let me know if you'd like a part two because there were so many more that i could have done as well do subscribe to see my future videos but for now thanks for watching i hope you're all keeping well and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya i'm here to enjoy myself gc style do you know what i mean i just want to be me